do the transfer from here to there. Some rural schools doesn't have even a um, teacher. Now, I live close to a school called CWW Karnagara Mahavidyale Gol. Right? Now, that comes under the southern provincial government. Now, for instance, in that school, there are two, two, two or three computers, it seems, but no children to learn the computing. So, I don't know what the principal is doing. Same man is continuing for the last five years from the time of the tsunami. Now, I'm sure there is a political hand from somewhere manipulating to keep the man. While all the children, 90% of the children, go out of the school before, the, uh, before they pass out of the year 10. They are very intelligent people. They can do fishing, they can do lots of things if they were guided properly. So, that political interference has to stop. And that can only be done by the President giving the powers directly to the public service and not to the ministers and the organizers in all these areas. But they didn't contribute at all, I might say, for the election of the President. Because people were, uh, were, uh, voted for the man, for Mahindra Rajapaksa, for giving a strong leadership and expecting a strong leadership for the future. So, if you look at the urban world now, uh, and especially if uh, let's look at the electorate under the Colombo Municipal Council, what are your comments? If you look at the Colombo population, as you know, uh, has a large percentage of uh, um, various other ethnic groups other than the Sinhalese. But still, the Sinhalese people, the Colombo district as a whole, has a big amount because of the other people. But if you look at Colombo municipal areas, and even Devil, where I live, uh, went to Sarat Fonsek, right? But as you come down on to the um, Sinhalese areas, mind has taken over from Devil, you go to Ratmalana, that has become turned out to be a, um, uh, for, uh, for the president, where there's a larger percentage of um, uh, these smaller groups. So, a uh, larger percentage of the Sinhalese people. So, what we can assume is the Sinhalese people in Colombo was evenly divided, sort of thing. The, but what happened in the villages didn't happen where the UNP people crossed over. So, there is an elite, or I might say, people who are doing well. Because in, to live in Colombo, you have to do, do well. You have cost of your house or cost of something is too expensive. As well as even if you are a laborer in Colombo, you expect a better better wage where, for various reasons. So, uh, within the Colombo electorate, these elites, or they got, they get everything. For the last 30 odd years or for 50 years, Colombo got everything. Now when President Mahinde is trying to give from our same cake to the villages, which, he, which every government should have done right from inception, uh, they find that they, uh, these people find they don't get servants because the villagers are no longer poor. So they, they can't get other uh, cheap labor which they wanted. So they expect under a right-wing government um, the villagers will be drawn back to the Colombo to serve them as slaves. So basically why they voted was that the uh, vote of the right wings remains static there. That so what you're saying is that what happened in the villages where some of the UNP traditional voters crossed over did not happen when it came to Colombo. So the vote was decided when the 50-50 went to a vote was decided by the two minority groups, the Muslim population and the uh, Tamil population. So the Muslim population and the Tamil population, again, w they voted, uh, what you are saying is, more for Mr. Uh, Sarat Fonseca. Definitely, I feel, I, f I feel that even in Gaul, because uh, I used to talk to people and tell some of these people, why don't you address the actual, uh, the people who are going to vote the other way to Sarat and tell them the good things which my, uh, President Rajapaksa has done for your life stability. But these people expected more out of them.
more out of uh, him. For instance, if their, uh, if their share market went up threefold, they wanted fivefold share market to go up for them to make more money. So that is the human greediness which continue to um, uh, hinder that, that progress. So that is that is why you know, I was surprised talking to a young man. Mm, he said, he, a senior list person, he said, no, 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 under um, uh, Mahinda, uh, under Sarat Fonseca, we might get a uh, better uh, private sector gawa thing and um, we can make more money. So that is the attitude. They didn't see how fairly the cake should be divided among the villages. Right. We are speaking to Mr. Tisseli Silva. Uh, he is an engineer and an independent consultant. We'll take a break. Welcome back. We are watching the round table and we are with Mr. Tisseli De Silva. So on Mr. De Silva, when we were looking at the, um, uh, the water base of Colombo uh, within the municipal council, so you were referring to how there was a split when it came to the Sinhalese voters' uh, votes for the president and the um, opposition candidate. And you said the, major, the tipping side was the um, Tamil and the Muslim vote within the municipal council. So uh, why did they vote for Mr. Uh, Sayat Fonseca? That's what, uh, what I said, but they also have joined the team where, to them, Ilam has been pushed through the Tamil vote as a religion for the last so many years, that they are members of a separate country. They want to have a separate country. Now, that has gone in and still some of the people are living in that dream. I it think doesn't that come across uh, like that, isn't it? Like people don't know. It's we always say it's a terrorist, it's a LTT who wanted a separate country. But we always, uh, when we talk to our Tamil friends and we talk to our Muslim friends, it never comes across as they want a separate country. So how do you account for that? Because I think in the in the north and the, when the TNA is influenced, yes, I do understand what you are saying. But that is why it's very interesting to analyze this aspect. Yeah. Now, they expect the separate, when I say separate countries, separately to be treated, they expect the uh, uh, um, uh, area like a federal state. So they are going into the other model of a federal state being created, or federal pockets being created in Sri Lanka, where it will be different on ethnic grounds. But I firmly believe that will not give a stable country in this country. Uh, in this context, India has a huge population, separated for various reasons, and the, the federal thing doesn't take place. So now, what we should be addressing is the economic issues, and forgetting forgetting about this community aspects of federal states and federal separation. So why is it necessary to forget about federal aspects if they were, that is how they were led to believe? Is it because this particular vote is also a mandate for a unitary state, like one state? Is it because of that that they will have to understand that uh, we all have to work together to come together as one country? Is it? I, I think so. The, my view is that we have to think as one country if we are to go forward. If we think of federal states and federal, uh, federal boundaries, we get another problem over the boundaries. Now, as you know, the British took a map of Sri Lanka, whatever the map, and drew some lines and said, this is western province, that is northern province, that is eastern province. So, there is a big task in front of us that we have to put new boundaries and new uh, demarcation lines on our provinces and even the districts and tackle our problem in a different manner, more environmentally friendly like river basins and things like that being taken into consideration. I further believe that even the concept of Colombo being our capital city has to change and it can easily be changed because we are living in a new technologically superior world where the computers are there, internet is there, we can have our capital anywhere. 
in a better, far better environmentally suitable area where now, for instance, for thousand years we had Anuradhapura as our capital because that was the most logical, environmentally friendly area uh, for us to uh, grow our rice and live there. With the Trincomalee port, we should be looking at things like that. British brought it here for their own convenience. I don't know why they shifted it out of Gaul, but this is a fact of life. So we should be now with this unitary state and President Mahinda being given uh, six years or more of a term of stability in Sri Lanka should, uh, should use and I believe he will use. People had that full confidence in him uh, that he will guide the nation firmly in one direction. But he how can prove, he do that? He will prove to the minorities that you have to be a member of this country as a whole. Just like how Europe is united. Now people are not getting separated.